Hi, I'm Pastor Mike Wallman of the Grace Presbyterian Church of Vista, California, and this Saturday, I have a cousin from Michigan who's moved out here, and he wants me to teach him how to surf. It's summertime. In fact, Saturday is the first day, no, today's the first day of summer, the 20th of June. So um, we're going to get out in the water. Unfortunately, it's going to be cloudy and gl June gloomy and um, kind of drizzly, but you know, I'm going to get him out there. He's so excited about learning how to surf. but. It takes faith to learn how to surf. I'm teaching my grandkids and, you know, pushing them into waves and giving them little pointers on how to stand up and how to catch waves and um, things that I do as, you know, I don't even have to think about it anymore after, what, 50 years of surfing? But these little guys are just learning. And so they're putting their faith in me and their parents who also surf um, on how to learn how to how to surf, how to catch waves, stand up, how to turn the board, all of those wonderful things. If they didn't put themselves in the actual surfing situation, then they wouldn't have the faith to learn because faith is action. It's a verb. It's, it's doing something. Um, I'm, this Sunday, I'm going to be teaching about a woman who, who put her faith in Jesus after suffering for 12 years uh, with a female um, um, uh, bleeding problem. She finally had ex expanded all of her resources, had gone to all the doctors, had done everything she possibly could to find healing for her condition. And then she hears about Jesus and she steals up behind him in a crowd and just, she put faith in just touching the hem of his garment um, and she was healed. Well, we're going to look into that even more uh, on Sunday, but know this, faith is spelled R-I-S-K. Unless there's some risk in your faithful action, it's not faith at all. Unless it's a verb, unless you've, you've stepped out. Remember uh, Indiana Jones on that? Uh, he's desperate to heal his father and he gets out on the bridge. Well, he doesn't know there's a bridge there and, and he's told by some mystical thing that you've got to step out in faith across this cavern and then you can you get to the goal of what he was searching for. Well, um, he had to just step out and he found that there was an invisible bridge there that, he, that was painted in such a way that he couldn't see. Well, that's the kind of risk we take every time we, we put faith into action. Faith is spelled R-I-S-K. So we're going to unpack that a little bit in the story of this woman uh, in Mark chapter 5. And, um, um, and I want to just read this one uh, passage from 2 Corinthians 13, uh, verse 5. Put yourselves to the test and judge yourselves to find out whether you are living in the faith. Well, that's the challenge I'm going to put out to you today. Um, as I go Saturday to teach my cousin how to surf, um, uh, put yourself to the challenge. I'm going to tell him that. <laughs> and that he's, he's going to spell faith, R-I-S-K. <laughs> um, but that's what it is in our journey with Christ in the spiritual realm. Um, it's not something that seems logical, but something that we have to test ourselves a little bit and put ourselves out there, take a little bit of a risk and test to see if God exists and that he really does care about us and love us. Well, come on Sunday and we'll, we'll see you at 9 for our traditional service or 1030 for our contemporary worship service and we'll unpack this some more. Until then, I hope you have a blessed day.